New details emerged today on a heartbreaking story from the North Shore. Monday, a picture showed a dog running behind a pickup truck as that truck sped away. Lori Hollis saw the incident and posted the photo on social media, which quickly ignited a firestorm of comments. Today, WDSU anchor Sulla Kim found out where the dog lives and why that dog was chasing the truck. By the time I got to the stop sign here, I could see that the dog was still behind the truck. This is where Lori Hollis witnessed an upsetting situation unfold right before her eyes at this Shell gas station in Slidell off of Highway 11. A black German shepherd chasing after a pickup truck as the man in the truck yelled at the dog. And he said, no, you can't go. Go over there. I I'll be back. Go over there. Wait for me. Go over there. Lori thought the dog was being abandoned. She worried the dog might get hit by oncoming traffic. That was my main concern was he was going to get hit when he, when he dashed across the two lanes. Um, and it's a miracle he didn't. So she followed the dog in her car but lost sight of her. Emotional and heartbroken, she posted the photo on social media in hopes someone can find the dog. But according to the attendants at the gas station and neighbors, the dog was not being abandoned. The man Lori saw in the truck lives in this neighborhood right behind the Shell gas station. Neighbors tell me he goes by the name Jake or Jell. The dog belongs to his neighbor who lives right here in this house. She wouldn't go on camera, but she tells me that her dog Butterbean loves Jake and follows him around everywhere he goes. That morning, she says Jake was going to work in his friend's pickup truck. You should never allow a dog to chase you in the back of a pickup truck. There's really no words for, you know, the helplessness that I felt. Jeff Dorson, executive director of the Humane Society, says there's an obvious violation of state law and he is investigating. Almost abandonment, letting your dog run at large on a highway. And then, yes, there's a state law that says you have to be in control of your dog at all times, which means either in an enclosure. Or tethered. In the meantime, this photo from a gas station in Slidell has quickly captured the heart of the nation with posts and comments online coming from across the country. On your side, Salah Kim, WDSU News. And the Humane Society is working with animal control to resolve this issue. Jeff Dorson is requesting a citation be issued in the near future.